Hi, and welcome to GTAC TechTube. This GTAC video will show you how to integrate Active Directory with Security Center. First of all, let's make sure your license supports the integration of Active Directory. The license information can be found in the server admin under Directory. You need to look for number of Active Directories. Then, we need to set up the integration service. Click Start, Run, and type services.msc. Go to the Genetac integration service then right click and stop the service. Now right click again and go to properties. Go to the logon tab, click this account, then browse and make sure to select the location of the active directory. Then enter the username and the password information of a domain user which is also a local administrator. This user will be used by security center in order to communicate with the active directory. Once that is done, you can right click and start the service again. Then, go to the config tool and make sure you connect to the security center administrator. Once that is done, you can now go to the network view and create an external system. Select the plus sign at the bottom left of the screen and select external system. Make sure you select the correct integration service and make sure you also select Active Directory. Click Next and enter the IP address of the Active Directory. Make sure the Use Windows Credential option is still checked and then click Next. You can modify the partition on this page and then click Next till you're done. The Active Directory system is now created. Under the Properties tab, you can see that it's connected. To troubleshoot the system, you can click on the click here for diagnostic information at the bottom of the screen. This can possibly show a list of conflicts and how to resolve them. You can add groups to the Active Directory by clicking on the plus sign, on the plus sign again, and browsing through the directory to select the groups you desire. You can also delete groups by selecting them and clicking on the X sign. Another way to add groups is by typing part of the name and searching. Then click OK. It's now time to select what these groups are present in Security Center. I want my groups to be user groups and not card holders. Then you can choose to create users on the first login only. For a large system, it is recommended to create users at logon only. For a small system, you can import them. Then hit apply and synchronize. Under the user tab, you can now verify that the users have not been created. This is because I chose to create users when they log on for the first time only. Then under the user group tab, you can verify that the groups have been created. You can notice the yellow arrow next to their name, which means they belong to an external system. You can also assign privileges to these groups. In this case, I'll allow everything. It's also possible to make them administrators if you like. Under the Properties tab of the Administrator group, you can add the groups. Then hit Apply. The setup is now complete, so let's log on with an Active Directory user just to make sure everything works properly. So log off from the administrator you're logged in as and log in as an Active Directory user. In this case, I'll use Windows Credential, which means that Security Center will use the Windows user I'm currently logged in as to connect to the system. Please note that this user must be an Active Directory user. So the connection worked. The next step is to verify that the user has been created. Under Security and then User, you can verify that the user has been added to the system. Just like the user groups, it has a yellow arrow next to its name which indicates it's been imported from an external system. You can modify its properties by clicking on it. Another thing you need to know about Security Center is that you can create a scheduled task to synchronize Active Directory and Security Center every time it runs. Go to Schedule Management, select Schedule Task, 
and at the bottom left of the screen select add an entity then schedule task again fill out the correct information which is the name and the description you want to give it select the correct partition then click next click next again and then finish then select the properties you need in this case I want my task to run once a week every Monday at 11 past 10 then select the system which is the active directory the action which is trigger synchronization and hit apply what this task does is that it synchronizes users from Active Directory with the users in Security Center. So basically, if you remove the user from Active Directory, it will also remove it from Security Center. If you disable the user in Active Directory, it will only disable it in Security Center, but it will not remove it. Thank you for watching this short video on how to integrate Active Directory with the Security Center system.